Hi everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing two new Candleberry scents. So a few people have asked me to review these. Um, I've reviewed a couple of scents before, which I'll put in the link, um, a link in the description down below. They're quite hard to get hold of here in the UK. They're quite a well-known US brand, but here in the UK they're quite hard to come by. But luckily Wax Addicts have started stocking them in these crumble pots. There's a lot more scents on their website than these as well. And I do have a couple of others to review. But these are the two that I started off with. So I thought I'd put them both in one video. So I'm going to start off with Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee has got this like dark, uh, dark ambery colour wax. So you can see that there. So the notes for this one are a rich and velvety fragrance worthy of Creme Brulee names. Take hold of your senses with the delicious aroma of warm custard covered in a wonderful sugar glaze. So this comes in a few different formats as well. So obviously the crumble pot is from Wax Addicts, but if you go on the Candleberry website, which I'll also link down below, you can get this in a 10 ounce jar, a 26 ounce jar. They do scented wax melts in it and they do a 160 ounce jar, which I think I've posted about this on my Instagram before. Um, how massive that is. It's $149 in the sale. It's meant to be $180. The others are all normal prices. The 26 ounce jar is, is normally $27. The scented wax melts, they're um, $9, for example, but 160 ounces. I don't know if I could ever bring myself to pay that much for a jar that big, but I would love to have one just one day just because it's so massive. So, for me, out of these two, creme brulee was the one that I, I liked the least. So creme brulee was still really nice, but compared to the throw of what Frosted Blueberry Donuts was, it was it was a bit more disappointing. So it did have a very, um, a very sweet scent to it. Not really custardy, but I would say you've got more of like that vanilla-y, sugary scent to it. So it wasn't as as strong as I would have liked it to have been. I would have said for the throw rating, Maybe I'll give it, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe a, a 6 out of 10. I don't know if I'm being too harsh. Um, but compared to what I'm about to say for Frosted Blueberry Donuts, it's, I'm probably being fair, giving it a 6 out of 10. So it was a nice sort of sugary, vanilla-y scent. I think it would really perform better in a smaller room. But now, Frosted Blueberry Donuts, where do I even start? So again, Frosted Blueberry Donuts comes in a few different formats. It comes in a room spray, a 10 ounce jar, a 26 ounce jar, scented wax melts, um, and also a little scent for the car, like the little um, like Yankee Candle do that you hang up on your, on your mirror. So, and they also do the massive 160 ounce jar. I would love to know how many of them they sell. I just think that's just ridiculous, the size of that and the price. I want to know how many people are buying these 160 ounce jars. If I had $180 going spare, I would definitely just get one because I just think it would be funny to have a candle that big sitting on the side. You could use it as a display piece. So, Frosted Blueberry Donuts was the one that I burnt first. The notes for this one, and you can see there as well, the wax is just like a normal sort of clear white colour. Just a normal wax colour. So the notes for this, and it even says one of our most powerful in capital letters on the website. So it says this warm donut bakery aroma is slightly blueberry, slightly spiced and dripping with bake shop glaze. Feel, filled with the fragrance of sweet confection, Candleberry has worked on this one for years and has finally has a donut scent that would be perfectly in your home in your favourite neighbourhood bakery. Um, if you're looking for straight blueberry or juicy fragrance, look elsewhere because this one is totally baked. It was amazing. It was so, so strong. I could have got away with only using half of the crumble pot. Um, I was sort of burning it downstairs just as you enter the front door and the smell carried all the way up the stairs. I could smell it in the bedrooms upstairs. It really went a long way. So I do think a little is going to go a long way with this one. I think if you had this as a jar and put it under your um, electric lamp warmer, like what I do, I think it would be too much. I definitely think if you have this in a smaller room, it, it might be too overpowering. But for where I have mine burning downstairs, like I say in my other videos, it's quite an open plan sort of space. This was absolutely perfect. It was amazing. I'm, for the throw rating, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It was 
beautiful. I would definitely, this is one that I would definitely invest $180 in getting a massive one because it was beautiful. If you like your bakery scents, definitely invest in one of these crumble pots in case wax addicts stop selling them for any reason. But it is, their, their notes are completely spot on. It was very slightly blueberry. And then you had that lovely vanilla bakery sort of smell. And it was really, really similar to, um, if anyone's ever had them before, the Yankee Candle um, Blueberry Muffins or the Yankee Candle Blueberry Scone. So it was like that, but better. It was really, really lovely. I'm over the moon that I tried this one. And like I say, the smell filled basically the whole house. It was lovely and it's only a little crumble pot. Um, I did pour the majority of it in my Walmart, but I could have definitely got away with half. But out of these two, if I'm recommending either one, I'm going for Frosted Blueberry Donuts. Absolutely amazing. Um, if you guys have tried any Candleberry that you think I should give a go, let me know and I'll try and get hold of them. But like I say, over the next couple of weeks, I have still got a couple of other scents to review from that brand. So I will get them out as soon as possible. But as always, a thank you for watching. If you get any of these off Wax Addicts and give them a try, let me know what ones you tried and what you thought of them. And as always, I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.